Have you ever wondered how to add additional pages to your KV4 website? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to take your personal brand even further by adding custom pages to your KV Core IDX website. I'm even gonna show you how you can create a custom booking page so that way you can send a link directly to your website for your customers to book instead of sending them to an unbranded Calendly link. So if you wanna learn more, keep watching. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 16 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO, and I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And if you want to get my training, resources, coaching, and courses for free at no extra cost or split to you, take a look at joining and partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. And there's a link below where you can click to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more. So let's dive into today's topic. So today we're going to talk about how to add custom or additional pages to your KV Core IDX website. This will come in handy when you want to add additional information to your website than the traditional templated pages that KV Core gives you. Now we're kind of pigeonholed into all of the aesthetics and things that KV Core can do, unlike a personal branded website of your own. I still highly recommend if you are a full-time agent or a serious agent that this is your career and you're not part-time that you go get your own branded website for a number of reasons. One, you're in control of what goes on it. You have more resources to help with SEO because these IDX websites, no matter what they tell you, cannot compete with SEO. It's just they're very templated sites and they, they rely on that IDX feed, which is basically duplicate content that's on every other realtor's website. So it really doesn't help you with SEO and it doesn't give you the full control like a WordPress site would with an SEO plugin. So if you're really committed to SEO, you need to get your own website. If you need help with that, our team can build you a custom website or we have some great DIY options below where you can follow me step-by-step -step in a video, use one of our amazing uh, branded websites to customize it to your company's brand and be able to have a fully personal personable website that has sales funnels and landing pages all built in in one convenient place. So if you want to take a look at that, check out the link below in the description there. But today I want to also show you how you can create your own custom booking page. Instead of having to send your prospective clients or people to a Calendly link that's not on your website, I'm going to show you how to embed that Calendly link or any other, you know, calendar programs right into your KV Core website or your website period. That way, you can send them directly to your website to that booking page so they can book um, they can book directly into your calendar without having to go to uh, that unbranded calendar. So when they've done booking, they're still on your website able to look around. So we're going to do that step by step today. So if you want to learn how to do this, let's go on to the next step. All right. So now we're going to share my screen and I'm going to show you step by step how to add a custom page and then specifically how to do the booking widget. So whether you are on KV Core platform like this, or you have another IDX website, you can use any of these and keep the same concept. You just have to go where you would be able to add a custom page. And so for the example of adding the custom page, we're gonna do the embedded Calendly widget. So that way they don't ever have to leave your website and you don't have to use Calendly's branding, you can use your own. So what we're gonna do is come over here to the admin panel of our KV Core site. And then we're gonna come over here to Web and IDX. And then we're just gonna to go to the website manager. And when you do that, you're gonna come over here and click site content. And then you're gonna see right down here, custom pages. So you'll wanna click that. And you'll see I already created a thank you page and I will show you this. I did this in one of my last videos when we were talking about how to make sure that you're not getting fake leads because what happens is when you do a KV Core landing page, it asks for a URL to redirect the user and a lot of times you just give away your PDF or your download, whether it's your buyer's guide, your seller's guide, you give it away directly without verifying if that lead is a valid lead. So what you can do is redirect them to a generic thank you page that I created. And I did this step by step in the previous video, but it basically says thank you for, you know, wanting to access this resource, check your inbox. And what I did is I went to my smart campaign. Let's say it was for the buyer's guide. I cloned my buyer's campaign and then I just added an extra step to email this out. Or you can just create a campaign to email that out 
nothing else. Um, there's so many different ways you could do it. You could do it with Zapier, all based on the tag that you give it. So if, if somebody has the buyer's guide, well, maybe they're put on the buyer's guide um, smart campaign for that. So this is another example of how you could add a custom page. You can do all sorts of things, but this is how you will do it. So let me go ahead and exit out of that. And then what you're gonna do is just come back over here and go add new page. So a few things that we're gonna do first is we're gonna give our page a title. So remember, uh, just keep it simple. So I always just do like schedule uh, consultation and we can change this link later. If you don't specify the link, uh, what the link address is below, what'll happen is it'll just get rid of these spaces and add a dash, or you can honestly just keep it scheduled. It doesn't matter, okay? So we're gonna come over here. You can create a category to group these pages together. Um, so I'll just do a consultation. You do have to create a category. It is a required field. Okay, before we add our content, we can come down here. Um, so what we can do is we can create our own slug too. If you wanna do schedule or schedule consultation, you can add your own slug, which is just basically like up here, this would be the slug, what goes on after your website um, domain name. So your website.com forward slash schedule. So I would keep this simple like schedule, book, whatever you want. And then we'll come back to that here in a second. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put in some text. So I already have some done, so let me just go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna come over here and just put schedule free consultation, and then I'm gonna add this line, so feel free to copy it if you want. I'll show you how to format it here in a second. Um, what I'm gonna do here is delete this up here, and if you hold shift enter, it just takes it to the next line instead of actually going to a new paragraph. So if you didn't know that, there you do. So we're gonna make this um, heading one. We're gonna keep this a paragraph. I'm just gonna highlight that and then click bold or control B and just giving them a little information there, okay? And then what we're gonna do next is we gotta get our booking widget. So I'm gonna use Calendly for this example. So let me show you how to get to this screen. Um, I wanna show you a couple things on event types. Instead of adding a bunch of different schedule pages, which you're welcome to do, you can do, you know, schedule a buyer's consultation, seller's consultation, renter's consultation, whatever you want. If you have different event types in your Calendly, go for it. What I do is I like to keep things simple and not overthink it. So if you look at my real estate consultation in Calendly, what we've done, let me go to edit it. Uh, when they go to it under the booking options, when it starts capturing all their information, I have asked for... Um, let me edit this. What are you looking for basically? Are you looking to buy, sell, lease, invest? And I made this checkbox, select all that apply because sometimes they're really selling their house or they're wanting to buy a house, but they need to sell their house first. Or I've had people that want to buy, sell their house, they need a lease for six months and then they're going to buy. So have them select everything they're interested in, keep it simple. And then um, you're good to go. You can even add, you know, another questions to capture anything you want. Maybe it's multiple lines and say, uh, you know, provide um, any additional notes that would help this meeting or however you want to word it. Basically, you want to tell them, you know, ask for additional information if you want to. So you can do that. So let's go ahead and go back to our admin page. But Keep this simple, but you can keep redoing this if you need to do it for multiple pages. And then you just got to remember the URL to all those pages, okay? So let's say we're going to do the real estate consultation. We're going to keep it simple. We want to click share, all right? Now, the first thing that we're going to do is click add to website. You can embed this directly into the page. You can make a pop-up widget that floats around on your website. So this is something that you could add to your heading to automatically float on every page to schedule a consultation. You could do pop-up text on a page so you can have it, you know, customize the text and when they click it, it pops up a widget and they can book um, a calendar or book into your calendar. I'm gonna do inline embed. I wanted it embedded on the page so we're gonna say continue. And then you can hide event details if you want. You can hide the cookie banner, uh, whatever you want. You can customize the background color, the actual text in there 
the button color, and you just put in the hex code of your branding. I'm gonna leave it the way it is just for now. And then when you click in here, we're just gonna say copy code. Now we're gonna have to do something with this code. This is probably the most complex thing you're gonna have to do. So we're gonna come into here where it says page contents and we're gonna click these little um, brackets here or whatever you call them, greater than, less than. We're gonna click source code. And then what we're gonna do is come in here. This is what the source code looks like for your HTML. We're gonna come at the end of it, hit enter, okay? And then we're gonna hit control V or you can right click and click paste, okay? Now, one thing that we do need to take out of here because um, KB Core will automatically remove it is we need to start at this script line and just take this whole line. So at the, the beginning, um, was that less than the script there and then all the way down to this one. So you need this whole line. We are going to right click and say cut, okay? Or you can just copy and delete whatever you want. If you cut it, it automatically copies for you. And then we're gonna say save, okay? And then we're gonna come over here. Um, well, let's go ahead and finish this and then I'll show you what we'll do with that. So um, we're going to basically come over here now and then we are going to put in a meta description for this tag, okay? And so what we're gonna do is, I already have one written, just basically this is for your SEO. You can say something like, are you looking to buy or sell a property in the Houston area? Schedule a free real estate consultation with Houston realtor, Jacob Sharman. Keyword tags you don't need anymore. And then um, add to child's site, say no. And this should just give us our website.com forward slash schedule. So now we are going to save our page. Okay, and now there's our page. Now before we can view that page, the Calendly widget won't be showing up because we need to put that script. So now we're gonna come over here and go to website settings, which I already have pulled up here. Okay, and then on the general tab, you're gonna have to scroll down until you find the custom header code. You wanna know a quick trick is you can hit Control F and type in, oops, we zoomed. You can type in custom header, watch custom header, and it'll take you right to it, okay? Now you see, I, this is where you're gonna put your Facebook pixel code and things like that. So I have already put this code in here, but basically you'll come at the end of the pre next code you have, come down a line, and then you will copy and paste that script line. So if you need to go get it again, you can, or you can just copy this, but you will need to have this script type, all of that here, and then you're just gonna click save, all right? And then now if we go back to our schedule page, we can go ahead and hit this link to automatically open it, or you can copy the link right there. All right, so if you did it correctly, this is what you should be seeing. You should see you know, all of your text here, and then you should be able to go through your widget, select your time, all of those things, click next, enter your details, and then your prospective client or your current client can schedule a consultation with you. Now, a couple things to note if you wanna change this up, right, because we kept the title simple, it puts the title up here anyway. So if you wanna just take this schedule your free consultation, you could just eliminate it here instead of doing the H1 and just go ahead and put this as the page title um, right here. So I'll show you in case you don't understand what I'm saying. So if we wanted to edit this, I could just remove this put it up here, right? And then um, we'll just say this is normal paragraph, pull that back up here. And then down here, you would just make sure that your slug, see how it updated it automatically? Just keep your slug as scheduled. So that's something you can do. Then we could click save, and then we could refresh it. And then we should be able to see, schedule our free consultation. So give me a second while it's loading. So sometimes when you make updates to your pages, it is not going to refresh right away. So sometimes you gotta give it a few minutes because it's cached inside of their DNS. So one thing you could do is you could actually, um, you could actually flush the cache. So if you add this, let me go ahead and copy this. If you add this to the end of any URL, so question mark, flush underscore cache equals one. A lot of times this will force an update to your page just like that. So that's a little trick. So if you're making updates to your page 
and or your website in general, you're not seeing the updates, but then you go to edit it and you can see that you made the updates. It's just not reflecting on the front end. Add this to the end of any URL. So question mark flush underscore cache equals one and it will force it to refresh and pull new data. It's just something they use to help so that the pages load quickly because um, they don't you know, think that you're gonna make changes every few minutes. So if that happens. One other trick too is um, sometimes when I did this right away, um, I noticed the page would load with nothing on it. So if that happens, what I would do is just put your text first, get all the other stuff done, hit save, and then come back click this like we did and then add in the Calendly. Sometimes when the Calendly is there, it doesn't allow it to save right away for some reason. So if that happens, you could just get rid of the Calendly, save it, refresh, and then come back and add it again at the end. And a lot of times that will fix that problem if you have it. Um, I had it once, um, but that was the workaround for that. So you've created your booking page. Now you can share that with people. Now a couple things, um, that you can't just get around here is that it's always going to be under the resources section, a custom page. There's just no way around it. The reason why I told you to um, say no um, to the child pages is because it will put it up here. So um, the schedule your free consultation will be up here. If not, it's going to put it in the resources. Um, you can, um, you know, customize these menus. Uh, pretty easy in your website settings. So if you need to do that, go for it. But that's why it'll throw it up here and there it's there for everybody to click and come schedule a free consultation. All right, so I hope you found this information helpful. Again, if you have any questions about what we went over today, drop those down in the comments below. I'd also love some feedback on some topics that you would love to see that I can record for you so that you're getting the full benefit of this channel to help you scale and grow your real estate business. So feel free to drop those in the comments below as well. And again, if you need help with a website, you're not sure what to do and you really want to really dominate your local SEO market, there's two things you can do. You can uh, look to us to build your website and look at our custom branded website and sale funnel systems, or you can buy our DIY package, which is the same thing. And I show you step-by-step -step where to click and how to customize um, our templates and brand them to your website. So click the link below to learn more about that. And you can also get my Google business profile online course, which is great because it's one of the fastest ways to boost your SEO and have clients calling you as in little as two months. And we have the course and we have a bundled offer where our team can do the initial setup for you. And all you have to do is follow the maintenance section of the course on how to keep updating that profile on a weekly basis. So click the link below if you want to learn more about that. And again, if you want to partner with me and get resources like my DIY funnel and my Google business course for free and a lot of other things like like Karuvi for free, all my resources, training, coaching, uh, and all my content for free. You can take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. There's a link below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call to learn more. I don't care if you're a solo agent, a team leader, or a broker, you can bring your branding over here, get access to all these amazing resources and scale your business. So take a look at that link below and I look forward to seeing you on that call. And if you want to see more content like this, you know what to do, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.